This stock that ARK Invest owns has crashed over 35% over the last few months, wiping out tens of billions of dollars in value from shareholders. And from its peak, guys, to its recent low, it's actually down well over 40%. This was actually one of the hottest stocks in the stock market in 2020. But it seems here as we've gone in 2021, this stock has gone out of favor. Investors don't really want to hold it anymore. So what's going on? Well, this company is actually one of the largest in the world at over a hundred billion dollar market cap. And that is after this aggressive selling that we've seen. So it was much larger than this before that. So we got to answer a ton of questions in this video. I've been seeing this pop up uh, here and there in my Discord, on my Instagram, even on YouTube here in my comments section, asking about my thoughts on the stock, whether it's a buy right now. And I thought, you know what? We haven't really discussed it on this channel in depth before. I haven't really shared my opinion on this before. So let's do that today. In this video specifically, we'll discuss first what stock this is and how much does ARK Invest actually own. Secondly, why are investors selling this stock? I think it's important to understand this, so I'll share my perspective. And finally, is this a buying opportunity? Is this stock undervalued? All of these fun questions will be answered as well. So guys, smash the like button down below, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new here. But without wasting any of your time, let's get into this video. First off, what is this stock and how much does ARK actually own? So here's a hint before I reveal it, this stock is a high growth stock in the work from home environment and it's benefited massively from that. So pause the video right now, Take a guess down below what stock you think it is, because I'm about to reveal it. Zoom, this is the stock we're talking about today, guys. Crazy Undertaker symbol ZM, and it has seen some aggressive selling in recent months. But ARK, oh man, ARK has been a net buyer of this stock recently, which caught my attention. In their ARK KETF, they own $384 million of this stock, allocating 1.97% of that fund to Zoom. And then they own another $120 million of this stock in the ARK W fund, where it makes up 1.94% in there. So needless to say, ARK and Kathy Wood here believe in this business. They have a good chunk of money in this stock. So I think it's actually worthwhile for you to stick around for this entire video to try to understand maybe what does ARK really see in this stock. Uh, like I said, I'll share my perspective and we'll kind of see where this stock could be going here over the next few years. Of course, I'm also gonna answer the question, does this stock look undervalued today? Clearly ARK may think it does, but I may disagree with them. We'll, we'll have to find out soon. Anyways, before we get into all of that, let's talk about why investors have been selling this stock recently. Okay, so obvious, Zoom gained popularity in 2020. It's been around for much longer than that, but it really picked up in the mainstream here in 2020 because when lockdowns hit, people needed a way to communicate with friends and family and not just on a phone call and not just with one or two people. They wanted to have their whole friends group or their whole family in a call just like they would meet up in person. And this was really the beginning of mass adoption for Zoom. This was what changed the business. And people that never heard of this company before, people that never even used video conferencing before, all of a sudden it became a Zoom customer. They spent hours a day with you know multiple people catching up, talking, and just trying to get through the tough times that we went through earlier last year. So this was one aspect of Zoom that really thrived in 2020. But there was another big aspect that a lot of people are not looking at. Corporations, yes, work from home was implemented across the board last year, and many companies were scrambling to find a solution for their employees to collaborate via video, you know, multiple conferences, meetings, all this stuff still had to happen, and they needed a solution to cater to that. Customers on Microsoft Teams were able to leverage Microsoft to kind of have video calls on there. So they were kind of covered and Microsoft was on top of that to gain those new licenses for their customers. But then what about all the other customers? Customers that had maybe Slack as their main messaging system? What did they do for video conferencing? What did they do for their meetings? In comes Zoom with a simple interface and no deployment necessary since it's all in the cloud. And you can even have a virtual room per individual if you choose to do so and you just gotta pay for that. So Zoom here came in and said, hey, company XYZ, I'm gonna solve this problem for you. You don't have to do anything. Everything's gonna be provisioned in the back end. We're just gonna provide you a link, provide you a login, and you're good to go. You can have your meetings just like you would anywhere else. So this is great. Zoom has pretty much solved a problem in 2020 that both catered to consumers 
and enterprise. And that's why the stock rallied so hard. But now it's interesting because we started to see the stock selling off. So have investors changed their perspective on Zoom? It looks like we're most likely going to enter another stage of lockdowns across the world very soon once again. So wouldn't a service like Zoom be relevant once again? Well, at its peak here, guys, on October 19th, Zoom was actually around a $161 billion company. This meant at the time, Zoom was valued more than companies like McDonald's, you know, the massive food chain that's worldwide. It's valued more than Lowe's, a massive home improvement chain. It was valued more than three M, an industrial giant that has also been at the forefront here providing us with masks. Zoom was bigger than some of the most established and profitable businesses in the entire world. But I mean, it was justified, right? Eh, incorrect. Now, while the shift in the world accelerated Zoom's adoption, which meant more revenue and profits, it still added up to very little at the end of the day. This year, Zoom is expected to see $3.5 billion in revenue and $549 million in net income. Compare this to a $160 billion market cap, that is totally irrational even for this market. Now, and now you know I like looking at a metric called price to sales, which takes the market cap of a company, looks at their revenues, and gives us a number. Now that number, I typically like to see it as low as possible. If it's uh, under a four, typically good value depending on the business. If it's under an eight, not too bad. If it's between a 10 and a 20, it's expensive. I may make some exceptions, but it is expensive. We gotta acknowledge that. Well, here's the thing. If we use this metric, price of sales for Zoom for the 2021 estimates, they had a 45.7x price to sales. This was when they were at the $160 billion market cap. And guys, I guess investors were like, look at the numbers and they, it doesn't make any sense anymore. We gotta start selling the stock and selling led to more selling to more selling. And now we're at $104 billion or so market cap here today. But even with this new market cap, 104 billion, if we calculate our new price to sales for 2021, we're still at a 29.7X. It's still an extremely rich valuation. Even though the metrics look solid for Zoom, even though they're growing rapidly, even though they're profitable, even though people have been using it everywhere around the world, the numbers just don't make sense. And that's a big reason why some of the more traditional investors, the big money really, have decided to cash out on this stock. Now, my other concern with Zoom is that once the economy opens back up, you know, we're back to a sense of normalcy, the need for a platform like Zoom will drop drastically. This does not mean that everyone's gonna stop using Zoom because I think that this is probably gonna be a trend now for a very long time, maybe not Zoom, but some video conferencing solution. But nonetheless, it, it's clear when summer comes around or we get past this issue, people are not gonna want to video conference if they can meet people in person again. Now here I'm showing you a Google trend here for Zoom, and we can see since the peak in March, interest has slowly dwindled. Now I don't have raw data showing the actual number of users in meetings or using their platform regularly, but I suspect a good chunk of people won't be needing Zoom again, and a lot of people have probably reduced their consumption of Zoom as well as places around the world have opened back up. Not to mention competition is getting extremely fierce in this space. Facebook is big here. They're really pushing it on WhatsApp and on the Facebook platform. They have free video calls for, I think, uh, I think it's up to eight people, depending on the platform that you can see on the screen at the same time. So they're really pushing forward for a free video conferencing solution. And of course, Zoom still has their niche. Zoom still has their name. Zoom still has their simplicity as well. But all I'm trying to say is competition is trying to eat up some of their market share here. You know, I like investing in strong moat companies. My largest positions are companies that I believe are not only the leader in the space, but have a huge margin versus the number two, number three, number four players. And they're such innovative companies that they can just keep growing rapidly. For Zoom, I don't know if I can say that's the case. I don't really believe they have a strong moat right now. So this kind of leads us to our next section here. Is this a buying opportunity? Is Zoom stock undervalued? So let's start off by looking at the charts here because I want to point out something to you guys. So as the stock continues selling off, it seems we have found a base here at the 50 moving average on the weekly. Now this could end up being the base the stock bounces from, but I think there's a good chance we actually just consolidate around this level and just kind of move sideways for an extended period of time. 
to allow the fundamentals to somewhat catch up to the valuation. So is the stock undervalued? No, not in my mind. I actually think the stock is still overvalued even after this correction. But in terms of buying opportunity, is Zoom stock still a buy? Here's the thing, even though I believe it's overvalued, a lot of other people may disagree with me and they may still buy into this stock. After a 40% sell-off, a lot of investors see that as a discount, even though it's still overvalued in my mind, and they may start buying the stock up just on that reason alone, which could push this much higher once again. I would not be surprised to see the stock continue its irrational move and go higher once again. But in my mind, guys, this stock is overvalued. This stock is not a buying opportunity for me. And I'll just be staying here on the sidelines watching this play out. Now, I do want to be clear for those of you that took the time to stick around here to the end of the video. I believe that Zoom is a good company with strong fundamentals that are improving massively year over year. The business is strong. The stock... It's a bit out of whack. This is the case with a lot of stocks out there right now in the market. And that's why I choose not to put more money into those stocks right now. Even companies that I own have moved up so far, so fast to, to valuations that I personally can't justify as well. But I'm not selling those stocks. I'm just continuing to hold and just let the market do its thing. That being said, Zoom is a company that I do like on a fundamental level. And if the stock price can actually reflect a more reasonable valuation, I would most likely consider opening up a position in this stock. Now, I own other players that do video conferencing, but it's not their sole focus. I think that a company like Zoom that has a focus here on only video conferencing will probably outperform some of the other competitors over time. But with more competition, their market share will shrink in my opinion. And when you have companies like Facebook, for example, really pushing into the space, you have Google, you have Microsoft with Teams, you have all of these tech giants trying to capture the market as soon as possible as well. It's a tough spot for Zoom, but so far they've proven that they can keep growing and if they can keep that up, who knows, maybe in the future, their valuation will justify their stock price. So guys, let me know in the comments down below, are you a Zoom believer? Do you own Zoom stock or do you plan to buy Zoom stock after the sell-off? Let me know in the comments down below. Either way guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to invest positively and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.